Hi, my name is Salisha Farenwall, and this video is to explain how Epic Feedback Model works and how it helps provide students with a sense of empowerment. Empowerment to me means providing a safe environment where you're able to talk with one another. Regardless of you know who they are, uh, what their position in life is. Any individual in a given interaction feels safe. Knowing that you have the right to an opinion and to your feelings and with the right to taking control of something or um, having a lot of confidence. Um, confidence in being able to take that next step. And taking over uh, your life. And, you know, be the voice and actually speak up and say something. I feel like that's empowerment to me. It's not only knowing the knowledge, but being comfortable to share it. The Epic Feedback Model comes down to four parts, and it's all in the name. So you have engage, positivize, impact, and collaboration is a way that we can give feedback to our peers. And it's a way to really be able to communicate thoughts respectively. You will find yourself um, in a challenging situation. So this way you will uh, focus on this uh, behavior and then you will um, find a way to overcome this challenge. And be more understanding and foster better environments. I think EPIC is important because it gives guidelines to how to properly collaborate. You want to have a standardized way of communicating with people we are working with. You do have the right to talk to that person about that and they have, they should be able to like listen. Because feedback is inherent to every educational experience. We need to improve. We're never really taught how to communicate with other people and resolve conflicts. So by having EPIC, we have an easy way for us to communicate. So that we can communicate in a safe and kind um, communication and interaction. EPIC can be applied in any situation while you're in clinicals and working in the hospital. So you have to engage whether it's, you know, shift change or, you know, you're getting an admin from a different floor, you have to engage, you have to communicate. A code situation, which is a very stressful situation. We need to be able to work effectively to save this patient. Suturing is a critical skill you need to know if you're an outpatient uh, APRN. Um, and it's a stressful skill to learn. It started from so small group, like family or just two, um, two of you, um, and then advance in a, like, uh, on a, in a more a bigger uh, uh, community. What I like my peers to know is empowerment. I really encourage you to uh, read read more about it and um, trying to um, apply it in your daily life. To understand like all four aspects of a big. I think it's really helpful and important that we are interacting with one another regularly and giving each other positive feedback. If you follow Epic, then the communication or the handoffs or the power dynamic, all of that can be eliminated. That it's not completely like by like one step at a time, rather like what can we expect from the people we are working with and how can we best work with them to give feedback to them. It could be something that could be used to great effect to help future generations of, of student nurses. Whenever there is a human connectedness uh, in any interaction, that, that that's where Epic is applicable, and I think it has a it has a potential to make a pervasive impact in our culture.